Hi guys, Gareth here, aka Rookie, and welcome to my Freight D vlog. Wait, So, this is my 52nd vlog, which means one year of doing Freight D vlogs. So, that's the second promise I made on this channel completed. So, I made two promises. Uh, one of them was I upload a video every day for a whole year, which I've done. And the second one was that I do a Friday vlog every Friday for a year, which I have done. Now, there was one which is kind of a bit iffy. Um, because basically it wouldn't upload on Friday and ended up on being on Saturday and there was one that I recorded Technically it was Friday when I did it, but it was like one minute past midnight But yeah, that's it done. So now that I've done those two promises I have no other promises to commit to so um there's gonna be some changes the Changes are you're still gonna get a, a, a Weekly vlog it may not always be Friday if I've got other commitments I may do it on a Thursday I may do it on a Saturday I may even do it Sunday or may even do it on a Wednesday if I've got that many commitments you know for the weekend or what have you so that's gonna be certain changes to my uh, to my channel also I'm not gonna upload a video every day if I got stuff to upload I'm gonna upload it if I don't I'm not going to I'm not going to quite try to fill my channel with videos like I've been trying to do because I think at times I'm playing some games that I'm not enjoying or I'm doing something just because I need to fill it like I may be a game that I really enjoy playing but I'm not being commenting on very good because I'm not in the mood set to record and I'm just doing it because I need to fill the content. So, yeah. So let's see what I've done this week because I've forgotten that I'm going to look at my phone. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go back basically on Friday was the last time we did this, which I was still on tour with Alter Sky. Still missed the door. Um, basically, the pub they did in Perth was like a student pub and it really was a, a really good pub. I got mistaken for a student a couple of times, which I liked. Um, because I'm 33 now. Um, yeah, and there was a real fire in the pub, a really nice pub, you know, it, you know, kind of a nice pub, but a student pub at the same time, you know, it was really, really good, um, something that made me feel like, it reminded me like I was a student, you know, kind of that kind of pub, it was really nice, it was something that really did remind the manager there, or boss supervisor, or wherever he was, he was training up a new member of staff, and that reminded me what I used to do, because I used to, um, be a bar supervisor at the, um, student union bar when I was a student, and I basically used to train up all the new staff, and it kind of reminded me of that, it was kind of, like, mm, nostalgia, nostalgia, um, um, something I'd like to shout out right now is Scotland, Scotland, I duck and love you, you guys are amazing, I love everything about Scotland, really good, really did enjoy myself up there that, that week, I can't believe how much of a good week I had that week, um, and then Edinburgh as well was great when I actually got to meet some people that I know and was it, you know, have hugs, you know, was it have a chat, you know, was it catch up? It was really good, really good. Um, something I do want to talk about because it, it's happened quite a lot to me recently. I don't know if I mentioned in the last video, but um, bands give me shout outs um, during their sets. Um, happened at a Signals gig. They get, I had to hide, hide myself because I've been drinking. Um, Travis Oaks did it on this, on this tour as well. And, you know, it was just, it's just like, again, getting quite a few bands just saying, you know, giving me a shout out. It's not, it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know, uh, it freaks me out unless I've, unless I've had a drink, you know, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but, you know, because then the centre of attention, I'm not kind of a person for centre of attention. You say that you do. Shut up. Um, yeah, so I'm not a person of centre of attention, so, you know, when there's pe people there, you know, in front of me, it's kind of like, if once I've had a drink, I'm okay, you know, my anxiety doesn't kick in, I'm getting a lot better with my anxiety, still got a long way to go, but yeah. Um, so after that, all that touring, again, I drove home, um, Basically, um, I must have done something to my knee because when I when I basically started driving out about an hour, it swelled up to like about that big. It was like almost like I had a beach ball, so I had to stop. I stretched it out and drove a bit more, and it was alright once I started going again. Um, but it was swollen. Um, I did stop on my friends, my best friends, on the way home. Was it um, who who were like sort of halfway? So after about six hours of driving, I stopped. Um, well, actually seven hours, I think, because of the um, traffic and stuff. But yeah, I got I got I got there. It was really really nice to um. Really nice to see them. Got to hang out. Was it um, read Megan some stories whilst I was there? Was it you know just generally got to chat to them, and have a have a great great time hanging out with them. You know, and then drove home. So it was about twelve hours travel. I think in total after all that, which wasn't the best. And then on the Monday I went to the Krang get, uh, tour, which I'll have a video about soon, very soon, very very soon. Um, and when I was there, I ran into some people I haven't seen in a while. And basically, these people I see like at a gig you know when I keep seeing them at the odd gig but it's like six months in between each time I see them really good guys was it um and they dragged me to the mosh pit for the first time in a long time um 
Yeah, which was good. It was really good. I got a few bruises from, but you're gonna get bruises from a mosh pit. It was really, really good fun. I had really good, I really did enjoy myself because of that. I think I enjoyed uh, Don Broke's set a lot more because of the mosh pit. Um, yeah, I really, really, really did enjoy that. Um, I was gonna tell you all about my secret plan on this video. That was that was the idea because the secret plan is definitely happening, and then something happened today, which means it's only 50% likely to happen now so I can't I don't want to tell you about it until I know what one of that and I'm not even sure if I'm actually allowed to tell you anyway um so yeah so I can't tell you about my secret plan now I wish I was going to do this video so we're going to tell you I'm going to talk about something else um since it's Valentine's Day tomorrow like a lot, a lot of people out there I'm single I'm not got any plans for Valentine's Day so I had a few ideas. I was thinking mm, movie marathon, so I was thinking the Hobbit movies and Lord of the Rings movies. You know, I got beer, I got popcorn, I got chocolate, I bought crisps, I got all that stuff ready, stocked it ready to go. But then I thinking, you know what? It's just thing I haven't done in a long days. I'm going to do a weekend. I'm not record any videos because I always record every weekend. I record videos. I'm not record any videos. I'm just going to play computer games or videos. So this is the only video I'm going to record this weekend. I'm not even doing any edit video editing. I'm just going to do that. Get my stuff done and go on it. Sorry my vlog would have been a lot longer if I could have told you about my secret plan but the stuff on that I've been doing all week which I now can't tell you about because I'm not sure if I can and plus also it's only 50-50 now because of something that's happened today. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys have a good week and as always, have fun. <laughs>